Greetings my dear dear friends, Dragon here once again. Now while we're still all incredibly excited about the Bruce Lee Golden Harvest box set, there was actually another box set that Harold put out a little bit of time ago, just um, a, a month or so ago, which I've heard many people say is their contender for box set of the year. For me personally, it is I think going to be the Bruce Lee box set, unless we see a Shaw Scope Volume 3 set coming, which is looking unlikely at this point this year. Maybe push that into next year, I think. But Arrow also put out Enter the Video Store at the Empire of Screens, which was their kind of celebration of Empire Pictures. Charles Band's kind of really very low budget, but very high ambition um, film company, which at their peak were putting out kind of a couple of movies every single month. And this really kind of rounds up five of their titles that you will remember if you were a kind of video store rental kid, as I definitely was. So on the set, you get uh, the Dungeon Master, Dolls, Cellar Dweller, Arena, and Robot Jocks. Uh, which is, I think maybe about three of I have seen. Previously, I think the only Empire movie that I actually had on Blu-ray came from 88 Films and was Eliminators, which I picked up for, for Conan Lee from Ninja and the Dragon's Den. But enough rambling for me, and let us take a little look at this beautiful, beautiful box set. Really glorious, glorious artwork on it. Two main artists have been involved. So our kind of outer cover is by the wonderful Laurie Greasy, and with shades um, channeling a little bit of Jeff Darrow style, hyper-detailed, but really very, very wonderful. And then the other artist, which I'm very excited to get inside and take a look at, is one of my personal favorites. And that is Lanchidi, who's done all the inside kind of alternate reversible covers for the movies. So we get our plastic out of the way. And it's really quite a nice form set. We have a little J card, I think, which is actually just removable this way. So you can kind of actually kind of keep that on as an extra little protector. Without the J-card, we just have a lift-off lid, but you actually kind of get to see a little bit more art around the back. So again, that is by Laurie Greasy. I will leave a link down below to Laurie's Instagram page. Um, and I think Laurie is currently based in Glasgow, which is very cool. Glasgow represent. So inside the top of here, our video store roof lifts off, and inside we're getting our five movies. And a pretty nicely... Pretty hefty book, our video magazine, with a kind of very retro style poster on the back, which is pretty cool. And kind of inside, we're getting articles on all the movies. We're getting cast and crew notes, uh, Empire of the Bees, The Rise and Fall of Empire Pictures by Dave J, Substituting Realities, The Unmaking of the Dungeon Master by Dave J, uh, Dolls, Stuart Gordon's Grown Up Fairy Tale with Sharp Teeth by Megan Navarro, Panels of Purgatory, Horror Comics, Monsters and Artistic Integrity and Cellar Dweller by Lee Gamblin. Interview with John Carl Bushler and Body and Soul in Outer Space, The Making of Arena, again by Dave J. And Drop Your Jocks, These Robots Don't Need Any Disguise by John Harrison. And then Robot Jocks Production Notes. But it's a pretty hefty book. And we're kind of seeing some pretty tasty, I think, newly commissioned art on the inside for each of these as we're going through. And then a lot of stop motion in Dungeon Master. But a pretty great selection of quite low budget, but like I say, very high ambition films. So I think I certainly remember Dungeon Master, I remember Robot Jocks, I remember Arena. Um, the Cellar Dweller, I don't think, and Dolls, I don't think I've seen. I've definitely seen the Puppet Master movies, but I don't think I've ever seen Dolls. But very excited to kind of revisit these. It was a set that I kind of was a wee bit on the fence about with how much money I've been spending on other titles recently, but was really kind of sold on it by my good buddy Fat Samurai Guy, who did an incredibly glowing review of the set recently. So here we're seeing Lanchidi's artwork, Lanchidi uh, Uncle Frank Productions on Instagram, and I heartily recommend that you give him a follow. Absolutely adore his work. He's worked with Arrow quite a bit and did the, the covers for their um, American release of uh, One Arm Boxer. And for the Angela Mouse set, so we've got a reversible cover. You can kind of get the original release poster here. I think I'm going to stick with Lanchidi's artwork for all these. On the flip side, we're getting the poster and we're getting some art cards. So we get three art cards for each. Again, with same image on the back. And we've got Jocks, which is a kind of early proto Pacific Rim, but with mechs fighting mechs rather than mechs fighting kaijus this time around. And on the poster, we're getting a 
original release poster, which is the one from the video store days. And then we get the plan sheet is beautiful. You got a robot on the flip side. Poster for robot jugs. Get our cars back in here. Then we have arena. Basically a sports fighting movie in outer space. And again, newly commissioned art by Lan Shidi on the front for there. And our original poster art, which I very definitely remember from my youth in the video store. Again, a couple of cards. Some great creature effects in this movie. Very cool. And again, get Lan's art on the back of the year. And another poster, which for the sake of completion I will open up. A version of the original VHS cover poster. And then Blanche, these gorgeous new ones right here. We'll move on to Cellar Dweller. Poster for that. We get our three cards. A young Jeffrey Coons, who's obviously going to make Reanimator as well for Empire. Again, the poster here. So I think some people would be kind of calling these horror movies. They're probably really more almost exploitation movies, kind of horror comedies, really, but. Pretty great practical effects, and if you're a fan of that era of cinema, and that era of low budget cinema particularly, I think there's a huge amount to enjoy here. Now we get dolls up next. Again, a really beautiful cover by Lanchidi. Original, quite classic VHS cover there. Three cards. Again, lands are on the clip. And again, poster. So you can kind of get a wee gallery of Empire posters just out of this box set. I was selling out quite quick, and um, I think it is still in stock with Arrow UK. I think Arrow US sold out pretty quickly, but I'm sure they will restock it. It wasn't a limited quantity. A pretty crazy original VHS cover. And then the stunning new Lanchini out. No means least, Dungeon Master. An absolutely bonkers mashup of styles and genres. And inside here, you also get a little Arrow Video Club card. It's very cool. And I have three cards for that one. And the last poster. VHS cover. One's absolutely fantastic. Here you are here. And that is your set five movies that I'm very much looking forward to revisiting. A set that I'm pretty sure pretty stoked that I tracked down because really it is very, very beautiful in the flesh. Let me know if it's one that you also managed to track down. And that is it. Enter the video store. By Arrow Video. I've been the Fanatical Dragon. Thank you so, so much for watching this. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.